Ripple XRP David Schwartz has revealed this and he has given us some information about his 2024 predictions. I'm very excited to get into that. We are also going to be talking about what Mastercard has recently launched and it's something very new and we also know that Mastercard is in a partnership with Ripple as well and we have some big news about the Minister of Argentina and what he's exactly done with crypto and this is to do with adoption and of course we will be getting into the price action for XRP and XLM coin all that's from your two things which is to smash that like button and to subscribe to the channel as well so big news first coming out from Ripple now David Schwartz has actually spoken out and given his predictions we know that other colleagues and members within the team have also given their 2024 predictions but we're going to have a look as to what he thinks will come in for next year as we know it's going to be a big year let's have a look at his couple of predictions so the first prediction that he has is AI and blockchain by 2024 the convergence of AI and blockchain will revolutionize cybersecurity and financial services AI pivotal in ensuring blockchain security will empower accurate market insights and automated trading AI chatbots like those on XRPL will simplify development fostering global innovation and financial inclusion now if you guys remember from before AI was absolutely booming back in 2022 and it still is right now in 2023 as well although the hype about it has somewhat calmed down a little bit but I still think that AI is pretty good again we have seen a lot of chatbots coming around with this and it just ensures more efficiency as well and it eliminates any sort of manual tasks and so that will be good coming forward AI is very big market we have the real world asset tokenization and this will drive the blockchain economy led by real estate and commodities tokenized real world asset tokenization on the XRP ledger and enhance collateralized loans improve interoperability and attract institutional adoption reshaping the financial sector XRPL will be a leading blockchain enabling these use cases cases and we also have a few banks as well that have looked into tokenization and how they can tokenize better within their company and I think tokenization going forward is also going to be a huge asset as well. Number three we have the prediction of decentralized identity adoption and that will revolutionize privacy on the blockchain. The decentralized exchanges empowered by DIDs will see increased institutional volume driving growth and liquidity in decentralized finance. The proposed XLS 40 amendment introduces DID capabilities to XRP Ledger marking a new era in privacy security and financial innovation and this is of course also important as well because when it comes to security and privacy especially when it concerns all of this information on the blockchain we need that to be the highest level and that is what the institutions are going to look for. Number four we have the interoperability and smart contracts by 2024 blockchain interoperability will break silos creating a unified and efficient ecosystem interoperability protocols like the cross chain bridge amendment for the XRP XRPL will spur innovation, fostering new DeFi applications, and this shift will drive mainstream adoption, unlocking blockchain's full potential across industries. Again, interoperability being one of the main things that institutions are looking for, and what it essentially means is that it can go across many different ledgers without having similar systems, and it can do it across different systems, and that's what the XRPL can actually provide. And those ledgers, for example, can either be public or private. Prediction five: We have these stable coins. Stable coins will reshape global finance created new FX corridors and reducing the dollar dependence the Middle East will lead in stable coin adoption for regional trades financial institutions standardizing integration with blockchains will pave the way for stable coins as a universal tool streamlining international transactions and unlocking new economic potential when it comes to reducing the dollar dependence look at what the Middle East are already doing it especially with the United Arab Emirates and Russia they are looking into different ways that they can trade especially when it comes to the oil contract Contracts. and if they can get around this by for example using the CBDCs and issuing their very own currency then that means they no longer have to rely on the dollar as we know Russia has had many sanctions from America and in addition to this the BRICS organization which are countries like Brazil, Russia and India are also looking for different currencies to use except from the dollar so this is going to be a massive one as well. Now before we talk about the Mastercard partnership one thing that I actually want to get into is another prediction that we have from the vice president of the global public policy and he says that a G7 country will have a blockchain enabled CBDC and when it comes to the G7 countries we have over here Germany, UK, France, Canada, US, Italy and Japan. Now why is this very important? Well when it comes to the G7 it is basically a forum and it is designed for talks between all of these countries to basically talk about their policies and international policies and affairs and they can influence global trends and tackle any global crises. Now if we do actually see one of these G7 countries actually adopt the blockchain technology 
technology and my predictions is that it could either be Japan or Canada going first then the other countries may look at it and actually follow suit as well and this is very big because these countries are highly economically advanced if this happens now let's take a look at the partnership very exciting news that we have so Mastercard launches contactless payments solutions in Nigeria and what it means is that the solution is set to empower businesses to accept card payments in an easy and cost-effective manner making the use of the tap of the phone or QR pay by link so that's your QR code or the payment link on their smartphones now as we know this is bridging the gap when it comes to digital payments in Africa and specifically to Nigeria and also we've got to remember the fact that if this actually works quite well in Nigeria then the other neighboring countries within Africa will also be utilizing this as well but do remember that this will be beneficial for Ripple because a Mastercard announced a partnership with Ripple emphasizing their collaboration and that collaboration was that Mastercard chose Ripple as a new partner in its efforts to explore and capture the expanded market for CBDCs. So Mastercard is a big player, they've got Ripple and again this is for your digital currencies and we already know that Ripple is trying to dominate within Africa so Ripple and Mastercard could be driving that with their payment solution and cross-border payments. So this is really good news and a great partnership that Ripple have under their belt. And this is by far probably one of the biggest news that has come in today. We have Argentina minister saying that contracts can now be settled in Bitcoin and his name is Javier. And before he was elected, we actually knew that he was pro Bitcoin. And so there was a lot of speculation that he could potentially be using Bitcoin when it comes to trading, confirming that contracts in the country can now be settled in Bitcoin. This is big news because when it comes to contracts, we are talking millions and millions that are going to be settled over here and not only that but now they are actually going to be adopting bitcoin what's going to happen well they are also going to be looking at other cryptocurrencies once this is successfully done and it's good to see that argentina is one of the ones that is adopting cryptocurrency now let's have a look at the price action for today for both xrp and xlm coin as you can see we are currently trading at 0.6197 and we are up by half a percent on the one day charts for the volume we are up by 13.56 percent and we are trading at 1.4 billion dollars in volume if we have a look at where we were previously in in the earlier hours of the morning at 62 cents and then we did take a dip to 0.6188 we had a massive spike all the way to 0.6276 that was our high of the day we did come back down a little bit but not too far off from the price that we are at right now on the seven day chart you can see that pretty much we have gone on a nice upside there have been a few bumps across the road however on the 20th we were trading at 62 cents within that mid range we are just below the 62 cent level as of now on the one month chart we are up by 3.74% XRP coin I wanted to see it go to 63 cents before the end of the year let's see if we can actually go there and hold it and it would actually be better if we could hit that 65 cent price target again Della XLM coin we are currently trading at 0.1252 we are up by 2% on the one day chart for the 24 hour volume we are up by 9.92% and we are trading at 88.2 million dollars in the volume if you have a look at where we were in the earlier hours of the day for the trading you see over here we were trading at 0.1245 now the lowest that we actually went to was 0.1237 and the volume was pretty much similar just down by roughly around about 5 million if we have a look at the seven day chart you can see over here that we have pretty much been on an upside despite these little peaks that we have had and then pullbacks again i want to see stellar xlm coin hit 13 cents by the end of the year but the main price target for it is 15 cents guys if you want daily xrp and xlm coin news subscribe to the channel and like the video as well